Welcome everybody to this week's Skin Awards show. Episode 6 featuring my star. It's a double week special. Hello, my star. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Uh, thanks for joining us in this week's uh, double week special episode. Super glad to have you. Uh, and for those that don't know you, can you quickly introduce yourself to chat? Oh, goodness. My name's My Star, pronounced My Star, regardless of what Thomas says over and over and over again. Um, I'm a variety question mark streamer here on Twitch. Uh, Cozy Chaos is kind of the name of the game for me. And uh, I have an amazing community. So, hey, that's me. Amazing. And um, I'm super glad uh, that uh, just to also congratulate you on becoming one of the newest CTV stream team members. Thank you so much. That was... That was an amazing honor. I've looked up to so many of the Captain TV, especially the stream team members. They have kind of set that bar pretty high for little streamers, and it's really cool to be a part of that. So it's nice. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, and because um, uh, last week I was uh, kind of busy with some birthday stream stuff, so this week is actually a double week special episode. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I'm just super happy that we can go through both the May 12th and also the May 19th game release uh, from Stream Raiders. Great. Awesome. So uh, before we kind of dive into the skins, uh, how did you first uh, find Stream Raiders? How did, oh my gosh, I don't even remember this streamer. I'm going to be real, and I feel horrible that I can't remember, but I was, I had taken a break from streaming and I was toying with the idea of coming back. And uh, I was hanging out through some other streamers and the game was there and they were like, hey, come put your unit on the battlefield. And I, I, I didn't know much about it, but it looked like a cute game. So I started playing it and then I was like, man, I think this might really work out good for me. And just something simple in the background while I played World of Warcraft, which is, well, no, I was playing Lost Ark at the time. And uh, it ended up working really well. I met new people through the community, and uh, it's grown to something much bigger than I imagined it could be. And uh, here we are to this day. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I just always remember the first time when I uh, found this game uh, and then started playing with Angel and just looking at all those pixel uh, units and characters on the screen. It's just super fun. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's an amazing game. It's wonderful for ADHD. I cannot tell you how many times I get up in the morning turn stream raiders on almost immediately find whoever my favorite morning captain's going to be most of the time it's hipsu sometimes it's endless sky and then i just i go in place while i work and i can't tell you how often that that three minute that ping to place another unit will focus me back up on my work adhd is rough for me so totally and uh, the fact that battles every 30 minutes allows you to kind of hyper focus yeah. once you start your battlefield and then uh in the uh, well, 30 minutes, come back and start to battle. Exactly. Such a good game for time management, honestly. Totally. Uh, so we're going to go with the first page of the flag release uh, on May 12th, which is uh, mm -hmm. two Fridays ago. Uh, so when you look at flag and headskins, uh, what do you look at? Oh, man. If it's got animals, it's a win for me. But some of these are super cute. Uh, uh, Jay... J1 through L1 is super stinking cute with the little scuba gear. Um, all of them are adorable, and I like how they kind of move aside. Yeah. They have to look different to be a head skin because you've got the same body, and it's amazing to kind of see how people represent themselves with such few pixels. So it's it's a difficult task, but some of them turned out really good. Like Michael Mantis's, you know that's Michael's. Yeah. You know, the, you know exactly when you see that, who that is. If you know Michael, you know, you kind of got to be in the know to know who it is. I was just said as a skin up on, uh, I think last week, and I saw him dressed up as a yes. mantis. Yes, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, Trina's is pretty, you know, Trina's because of the mask and everything. If you, if you know the captain, you see the head skin and you're like, I know, I know who that is. That represents them. And that is really hard to do in a head skin. Like it is... You know, you really have to be incredibly unique for sm such small details. And people like Trina Castile, Michael Mantis, you know, good, clean gamer up there. That's very rememberable 
that is very on brand and unique for them. So that works out to their benefit and that's going to carry them through their head skins and hopefully into their full skins. Totally. Uh, no, that's a, um, a great way to kind of brand and also allow your community to uh, support you by purchasing one of these head skins and put them on the battlefield. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, one thing I also stood out to me, it's uh, H4. It's got a really interesting red um, red shape head. I think it's probably a mask, but it's, uh, it's mm-hmm. pretty cool. By it is, it is very different. The aliens on the bottom, yeah. those, might, those might not be aliens. Those might be death skulls. I'm not for certain, but those really stand out too because of the color and the black with the green eyes. Yeah, super cool. And uh, you're right, Like there's only so many textos on these head skins, you gotta really exactly. try to make it uh, unique and also stand out. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, for some of the flag skins this week, they're really cool too. Um, I really like when they are able to really choose an emote or design that capitulates the entire flag. And um, uh, I really like the one by G1 here by Rice Bits. It's a really cute, mm-hmm. uh, almost like a little dumpling, a little uh, character Aww. holding yes. a little heart. Uh, also, we got uh, Sky Skitskin, this rainbow looking. I, I I don't know what it is, but I like rainbows. <laughs> yes, and Skitsylums is pretty cute as well. It's very, it's very defined. Like you can look at it and you know exactly. I mean, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's very, it's not melded into the flag. There have been some flags that are kind of blurry into the flag yeah. it kind of your background color your background color for your first flag will make or break your logo people don't understand how few pixels can go on that tiny little flag and if you have like a, a dark emote and then you put it on a dark background it's going to wash itself out so when you get that first flag you guys pay attention to your background color it's a big deal totally uh what i remember i did was i kind of made uh like samples and just like little sketches of like how it would look on each different uh, flag and then uh show your community and then they could also help you decide on which flag would look the the best in the battlefield exactly community input community input is super important on that because i mean they're the ones who helped you earn it so every time we get a new full skin unless it's something that i'm I'm like gung ho. We're doing this because this is what this isn't something that is important to me. I typically will run it through the community, get some ideas. We'll kind of back and forth about it, and we'll vote on it, and I'll submit it. So, community is very important in this because I mean they're it. They're who sets this up for you. Totally. So I'm gonna move on to the next page. We're just gonna go be uh, uh, our all uh, the remainder of the head skins, and uh, I still see some really cute ones here. Uh, yes. The cryptic cafe one really stands out all the time. I like CBCs. That's his brand. Uh, Stormlax Storm and the Pooh inspired head skin. There's and, a uh, Matrix one in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. These are some of the legendary units are the one unlocked mm-hmm. during Skinathons, and uh, we yep. can see them uh, all right now, which is awesome. Yeah. And uh, Shell's, Shell's uh, Smiley's also is amazing with the green yes. eyes on the cat. On the cat, yeah. Yeah. Great. And ooh, so May 12's full skin release. These are really cool. Uh, so we're going to start to look uh, by going to split the page in about half. And we're going to look into uh, all the ones from uh, A to F first. And then we'd go from G to L. So we're going to go right here. Just zoom a little bit. Um, let's start with A1. Uh, what do you think about that skin? Oh, it is super cute. I mean, who can say no? Who can say no to that? It, uh, another cat lady. I believe it's a kitty cat holding a coffee bean. And oh, man, can't say no to coffee. So I really love that one. It's super cute. I like the little, I, I guess it's eating it. And that's the little particles of coffee bean. I'm not certain. Oh, it's in the coffee cup. It's splashing coffee. Never mind. It's, mm. it's yeah, I it get is, it. I get it. <laughs> you know, it is really cute. And I think uh it's really the creativity of this skin that really makes it really special with the graphics and even just thinking about putting the kitty in a object like a cup and then yes. having that splash is so cool it is super cute the yeah. cat the eye the eyes the shading on the eyes because if you look the top part of the eyes is a, is a brighter yellow as opposed to the bottom yeah. it's kind of a deeper gold the detail they put in that the, the art team 
is crazy good how they can turn somebody's idea into a concept and make it work and that's beautiful i'd be interested to see how it looks on on the battlefield but man it is super cute yeah i love it and uh just remember if you want a tip for uh making your skin stand up make sure you ask your units to blink that's a big yes blinking is huge a lot more skins are blinking these days yeah totally uh so next one is b1 shiny mm -hmm. evs this is really cool it's got this uh transformer vibe i love how it serves a little puppy or a Pupper, yeah yeah inside a super cool green uh, halo looking like robot too yeah, it definitely, it's it's going to take up space on the battlefield, and I'm half terrified of it. Like, I want to boop its nose, and then I also want to run for my life. Totally, yeah, no, definitely. And I, I just love how people, even when people are doing, like, faux skins, uh, you would be like, wow, that would be a super cool epic skin, too. If, like, it was going to oh, yeah. be able to transform more and maybe turn to, like, a full-size robot, puppy, uh, crazy... Uh, Transformer type oh, looking. Yes. Shiny Eevee, take notes. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next we have Average Aims. Uh, I believe this is most likely a vampire with mm -hmm. the wings at the back. Uh, I will, yeah, tell us about your thoughts about that skin. Wow, the colors. I mean, typically when you think vampire, you think, you know, black, you think red. I love the incorporation of green here and the, the spell coming off the hands. Like, I definitely feel like they're sucking the souls out of the enemies. Uh, and that's a really creative skin. The wings are ripped. I I just... And the, the, the ground. There's a ground there, or it's part of the unit. And I really like that. That's incredibly unique. But I love the green. You don't see a lot of green in vampire units, and that's really awesome. Totally. And, uh, yeah, like as you mentioned about the ground, I think that's uh, adding a different environment for your skin to yeah. be in. It's super like cool. Like its own, yeah. Yeah. That's a really interesting concept that they brought in. That's nice. Next, we have D1, which is a, uh, a really it, nice archer. I think it's Gaia, I believe. Gaia. Yeah. Yes. It's it's very basic. Like, I mean, it's a, it's a basic character. But even the details, like there's abs. There's abs there and a belly button. I don't know how they did that, but there is legit abs. Um, the movement on the arms is really smooth. The holding of the bow... Uh, the hair, the different colors in the hair, there's variation there. Like, it's incredible. It's a very detailed but basic unit. Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, if it's somebody's first full skin or something like that, they want to carry their brand forward. And this is very simplistic in that nature. This has done that. I'm still looking at the abs and the belly button, though. That's just <laughs> that's so crazy to me. It's so cool. Yeah, I uh, love how... The, the different the variation of colors that I use of a pixel really allows you to define the characteristics of each part. Awesome. Yeah, Yi one really stood out to me. Uh, a diamond mm -hmm. ring is just so cool. And uh, I'm like, uh, the diamond variance is cool, but this is probably even cooler than that because you got the diamond colors on top, sparkle effects, and mm -hmm. then it's also got like a light shining here like yeah. to uh, really show that the diamond's glowing. It's it's beautiful. I mean, again, another simple skin that was kind of more brought to life with animation details as opposed to texture details, which there's there that as well. This has colors. This has sparkles. This has bling. I mean, they essentially said ring and bling and they got it. And it's beautiful. Like CTVR team blew that out of the park. It's sure. incredible. Uh, F1 is super amazing, too. So I, I, I don't even know how... Uh... I uh, can see the skin fit on the full skin, but uh, when I looked at the animation for this and just the whole entire skin, it's definitely wow. very creative. Like it's those uh, machines where you pick up little dolls, like in those arcade. Oh, a claw machine! Yeah, claw yeah. machines. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What? Yeah. That is crazy. And into a full skin. Yeah. Oh my gosh! The concept behind that. Can you imagine the discussion they had to have with their account manager? Like, oh my gosh, because we're supposed to be as detailed. And for them, I mean, if this came from like a simple, hey, I want a claw machine with a teddy bear. If it came from that, I'm going to be completely shocked. But that's beautiful. And the sh like the lights on the top and the movement of the teddy bear. The teddy bear is such a small bit of pixels. Right. But it is still incredibly animated. And I mean, you can see the claw around its body. You've got the claw piece up top and the claw pieces around its stomach. And that is like... There's still detail in small pieces. Totally. Pixels are incredible. 
Yeah, no, this is uh, amazing. And that, that, though that effect at the top of that machine just reminds you when you go to those arcades and all these lights mm-hmm. and music in the background. And uh, I love how, uh, so like these pixels tell a story too, which is yes. amazing. Yes, yes. Ooh, and then I'm going to move on to the next row and we got our friend 24 Slevin. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, this is like a cat kitty in the PJs. Almost. Yes, it's a beautiful orange kitty in blue PJs and it's yawning. It's so cute. The little nose detail, the tail is moving, the arms. I I can't get over the details. Like you could just have a kitty cat standing there and you could still portray that it's sleepy. But now that it's yawning and its little eyes are closing and its nose is moving, that is such incredible detail. And the tail, oh my goodness, it's yeah. so stinking cute. I love it. And uh, I mm-hmm. know uh, uh, for 24 Slevin's brand, he likes to have a collection of animals and I'm glad his, uh, his collection is growing. Yes, that's yeah. awesome. Cool. And then next one, we have another animal. And this one's really cool, too. It's got the glow effect on one of the hands, just like the vampire in C1. Uh, yeah. But also the wings behind this uh, unit is just super cool. It's got multiple colors uh, mm-hmm. and... Uh, I just love the the posture of this uh, Bale's winky face kitty kind of looking right at you. <laughs> yes, Bale's did so good. Bale's has a kitty, hangs out. It's so cute. You'll often see it when you hang out in her streams. Bale's is amazing. She also just hit. She was one of our new, brand new CTV partners. She rocked that one. And her skins are adorable. Her head skins are super cute. This one turned out really good, and I'm super proud of her for everything she's doing. Awesome. Yeah. And next one's one of your full skins. And, oh, uh, you know. <laughs> love it. Love it. I uh, I actually uh, know that I saw your tweet about this, and it's to kind of dedicate to all the uh, veterans and the military. And uh, tell us a bit about the story behind your C2 skin. Yeah. Um. So I have a lot of military men and women in my life. Um. My, my father, years ago, was in the Marine Corps, and, you know, he was staff sergeant. Um. I have... I mean, it's definitely a dedication to that, and I sure do. I love I love the military men. I love the service that they provide. And, guys, if you haven't thanked a serviceman recently, please do. But uh, the hat, uh, there's a story to the hat. I have an amazing community member named Aaron who comes into my channel, and he always places an arty, and it always has to be an epic arty. And he would always, I mean, he was there from when I first started playing Stream Raiders, and he would come in the same time. It is not a party without an epic Aaron Arty. And I'm like, you know what? Someday. Someday. Well, he has a TikTok account where he is, uh, he cosplays as Captain Price. And that hat is a big part of that cosplay. So it is a nod to my military men, but it's also kind of a silly mod to Aaron because I love him and he supports me so much in my stream. So it, it kind of serves a dual purpose. It's silly, it's fun, but I really love how it turned out. It's very basic, but it's you look at it and you're like, oh yeah, that's military. That's most definitely awesome. military. And they got the point across for me. Totally. And it's also like, uh, um, I'm I'm really like, um, like soldier, military looking inspired units yeah. as well, because uh, mm-hmm. you would want, it, it just shows it's right away, it's artillery. And uh, mm-hmm. you can see exactly what unit type it is. And it's going to be really handy when it comes to PvP. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. Blast him from the back of the battlefield. Totally. Uh, Amber has this really weird and fun concept that uh, I, I'm, I've, uh, when he told me about this and showed me the concepts, I didn't really even know what, uh, what to say to him. <laughs> so there's one of his actually pirate skins that he bought over. Uh, mm-hmm. But he caught his uh, Bootalicious. And it just... Yeah, it's like a treasure chest. And, uh, oh, man. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And and what is what what is coming out of the treasure chest? Uh, I, <laughs> it's, it's flesh colored. I'm scared to ask. Amner is going to have to let us know. I'm kind of terrified. Yeah. I'm scared to ask you, but uh, it's just really funny. He's got a lot of fun, fun inner jokes in his skins. And uh, that's why right. we're it? just going to move on then. Yeah. So another Ashley. Ash's kitty, yes. so cute. Yes, that's that's Luke. That is that is her Lukey Berserker is so cute. Uh, she told me that that uh, when it gets into its battle stance, that is literally her kitty about to bonk her in the nose. And y'all, Ashley's a huge cat lover, but that's her baby. 
That is her. That is her sweet boy, and I, I'm so glad that she put him into his skin. And that's that's been that's been my unit. I I don't change that skin. I'm so in love with it. Oh, that's amazing. I love I'm it. I'm so proud of her. I love it when people put their uh, pets and animals into yes. skins. It just means so much more and uh, allows you to like put them in a video game, which is amazing. Yes, and it blinks. Yeah. So cute. It's awesome. It's almost like uh, this week there's so many cute animals, kitties, and puppies. That yes. It's amazing. They really need a, a pet-themed uh, campaign. They really do, honestly. Uh, like, you know, cute little dog treats that you got to run across the map and go send your busters after or something. Come on, streamwriters, listen to us. Yeah. We got some ideas for you, yo. We do. We do. That would be so cute. Like hoops to jump through. Come on. Yeah. Come on. We're giving it to you guys. Let's yeah. do it. No, totally. And then uh, we got pants here with uh, one of most likely his stream uh, pirate skin. Mm -hmm. I love the detail on this. Like it's it's got the um, pirate hook hands here on the other side, and it's got really cool. Yeah, you got the hook and you got the sword. I mean, it's a perfect pirate. You couldn't really ask for anything more on it. Totally. So uh, chat, if you want to just let me know what is your favorite skin on this page. There's so many nice ones here already, and we're only in half the page of uh, May Trail's full skin. So. Just feel free to type your favorite in chat uh, while we kind of move on to the next page. But gosh, what is your favorite on this uh, page? Oh, gosh. Okay, <laughs> look, that's not fair. I, I am in love with four of them, and they're all cats. And right. I, I, you know, I, I adore Ashley's because Ashley's my best friend. Uh, Bales, I am so proud of everything that Bales has done. 24 Slevins, I kind of got a thing for orange cats, so I yeah. love Slevins. And then another cat ladies. I mean, that that's a cat in a coffee cup. That's like, that's my heart. I got my cup of coffee right here. Yeah. I love all four of them. I'm partial to mine, but if I really, if I really, really, really had to pick, it would be another cat ladies. It's so cute. It's in a coffee cup. That's really unique. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see how it moves on the battlefield. Like as it moves around, is it splashing more coffee? I mean, it's so cute. Yeah, no, it's sometimes even the idle version of this of these skins make you really wonder what's actually the animations. And sometimes yeah. the the creative artists and the art team not only kills it in one animation, but do it the mm -hmm. whole stance, which is really cool. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. There's, a, there's too many awesome skins on this page already. So this is going to be a tough week to find out what the yes. top skin is. Can we move on to the next half of this uh, week's release? So we're going to go with G1 first. Oh, what is this cute little helmet guy? Oh, it's a fireman. Nice. The nice. little fireman. Yeah. And it's got abs too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this week is all about abs and abs. All, the, all the muscle yes. here. Oh, man. It. Yeah, it's got a great little ha uh, fire fire axe i believe it is it's a fire axe it yeah. is awesome. i i am a i'm volunteer fireman and i do a lot of work with our local volunteer fire departments and this yeah. one really hits me it's super cute spantifical did an amazing job on the concept and like because my oldest my oldest boy is a junior fireman and honestly the cute little eyes and the little blush on its little cheeks that looks like my kiddo in my heart oh my god i just i love it so much however you know, you could tell this is definitely a rule. I'm gonna I'm gonna break everybody real quick. You can tell this is a rule slash city fire department. Those are typically red wherever volunteers are typically brown or black uniforms. So right. I really love it. It's amazing. They did great with the details. The abs are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, cool. It are, it's great. I love it. I'm in love with it. Me too, me too. It's uh, such uh, unique and it stands out. I love it. So next we have uh, Zam's uh, panda. I love how large it is. I love the bamboo stick. And uh, it's just like a panda chilling here. <laughs> it's so cute. It's very basic. I mean, it's it's Sam. It's yeah. it's Sam. Yeah, <laughs> it's totally. We also got another kitty here, 001. And uh, it's, uh, it's I, I like how it's got a really cute, cute arrow and just like standing yeah. there and just pausing. It's really cool. It looks like it's smirking at us. Like you see the other cats and they look like they're smiling. This one looks like it's going to shoot me in the back and run away laughing. Like 
you can see how the eyes are kind of narrowed, or at least how they're trying to make it look like it's narrowed with the cute little, the thing in the middle. I don't know if that's detail, like if that's just like the mark of the cat, but it honestly looks like it's evil. It I is. I don't know if they intended for that, but man, it looks like it's going to get you. No, I love it. I love the smirk. I love like it's just the eyes looking at you and uh, the emotions it conveys is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Next we have J1, Bronco Mama's crab it's so cool the hearts wow it is it's very unique little crab floating away on the two different hearts i love that yeah and i like how it's just like floating blinking it's got even got mm-hmm. like eyelashes which is super cool and the, the little feetsies are moving like there's so much animation here like look at the eyelashes like take a second and look at those eyes we've got the <laughs> blink but pay attention to the eyelashes like that's very, uh, geez, the art detail. It's in crazy. It's incredible. I mean, in crazy. We're going to coin that for now one. That's going to be a new word. Awesome. And uh, next one's really awesome, too. It's got a uh, really much detail on the pirate inspired of the golden gun, the golden, uh, like the golden uh, uh, holder on the sword. Super nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And again, eyeballs. The eyeballs are moving. <laughs> it's insane. It's cr- incredible. Yeah. And that's why I love about the Skin Awards uh, show. It really allows us to kind of dive in a bit more. Like, I, there's so much details on the skins that it doesn't do justice when you just kind of uh, breeze through it. So, next one is a, she, she's, uh, I believe it's like a, almost like a Street Fighter looking character with the, <laughs> the glowing pink. Uh, but I, I love how it's like kind of getting ready in a, a posture, getting ready to uh, fight. And it's uh, really ni- neat. Yeah, it is. It is definitely unique. Again, another simple skin, but it's yeah. made really cool with the fist. Like that's that's interesting. Totally. You guys. In the <sighs> second row, we got two variant skins. So this is a busy best uh, a Halloween and uh, variant, which I I love. Uh, I think she picked a really awesome uh, unit to make a Halloween variant because it's uh even though there's like shadow in the middle, but it's got the effects and the the spooky uh, goals of the, the side. Yeah, I know Beth was really excited for the Halloween variant to come out. I saw it on Twitter. She's really excited. Busy Beth is a super sweetheart. I love that she embodies herself in her skins, whether she's raging, whether she's smiling, whether she's hugging. They're all her, and they're very unique and individual to Busy Beth. If you see a Busy Beth skin on the, on the battlefield, you know it's Busy Beth. It's super cute. Totally. And uh, next we have uh, Poison Hearts uh, Spring Variant. I, I love it. Uh, I think they did a great job of Spring Variant. They have multiple colors uh, as well. Just They're just really refreshing skins to look at. The sparkles, too. Yeah. The variants are always fun to see. Yeah, totally. Uh, so what is your favorite skin on uh, this uh, half the page? Man, my heart is going towards the firemen, but I don't know. I don't know. Zero, zero, 001, I think it's Gwynny. Yeah. The cat. The cat is adorable. The, the evilness. Like, that's the kind of archer I want on my battlefield taking out units. Totally. Yeah. It's just getting ready to getting ready for PvP to come back and uh, start yes. shooting people out. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I think this uh, this page is really awesome. H2 is really nice. Sam's panda definitely just be, being Sam, idling here, chilling, and uh, getting ready to hit people with a bamboo stick. I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, you got... Um, Bronco Mamas, both skins are super cool. Uh, but this is a really hard week to uh, vote for. Yes, yes. So um, for this page, I'm going to bring uh, forward H1 and I1. And mm-hmm. then for the first page, I know Chad, I've talked a lot, but I think this, that we're going to bring three kitties here as well <laughs> as uh, the F1. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Kitty yeah. domination. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's super super cool um but yeah this is like this is a hard week if you look if you even scroll back it's like wow and uh just, just uh i know there's only one epic skin that came out today but we're gonna quickly mm-hmm. look at this wow teddy oh this is insane <laughs> oh man wow yeah the difference is like they're t- they're they're still very cohesive yeah. Like you look at one and you know the next one is the epic one and it matches, but oh my gosh, the detail in both of them, the halo scene in the background and still continuing to carry it forward, but the sword, 
got bigger, more shiny, you know, the outfit changed, the, like, it, it is incredibly unique. I don't know if that's modeled after a video game. I would assume so. Yeah. Or if that's just, incur- like, I, I don't know, but the detail behind it is insane. Yeah, and it's, uh, I know there's a lot of good epic vampires. I uh, mm-hmm. I love mine, but uh, this one probably beats in terms of the all Absolutely. the colors, the effects, and just... I'm actually looking at animations now, and uh, it actually, it's got, like, energy, and, like, every time it walks, it, it definitely exceeds the epic uh, uh, frame. Like, it goes, extends out. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. It's so good, yes. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to get a, a poll up for uh, all these uh, skins and see which one is the top skin of the week for this week. Uh, on May 12th. Get this rolled out. So, my star, um, how was your experience with uh, uh, Slipstream so far? I enjoy it. I had so much fun with it. We we got into it, and it's, uh, it's it, I mean, it's super fun. It's a super cute game. I'm excited to see how they move on with it. Um, it's insane that it's coming from a developer team of three. Yeah, that that baffles me. (laughs) Um, Being a part of the alpha, I have been lucky enough to be a part of the discord and the discord is active like they are. They are actively engaging with their community. It's incredible. I'm so excited to continue working with them and see how far they go. It's nice to be on the ground floor of a game. But man, oh, man, it is. It's super cute. It's got a lot of potential. It's amazing for communities. I am excited. So. Totally. And I just love how they, uh, the creators and developers always swing by in different chats, like the streamers to engage yeah. with us and uh, play with us. And, uh, and that means that they not only do they, they, it's a passion, but they also really want to be involved as content creators and streamers. Mm-hmm. Super, super awesome. Um, it's, it is, uh, it gets really chaotic sometimes with the harder levels and stages. It's so hard mm-hmm. to uh, beat them. And even as a captain or as the streamer, you got to make the right choices with your community because you can't run our fuel or you just lose. <laughs> exactly. I mean, fuel losing fuel was kind of a big thing for me, but I mean, my community really embraced it and kind of went hard on it. And I mean, we've got a ton of people who are still, you know, playing it. I've kind of stepped back from it for a little bit. We've got nitro drops this week. I picked up a new game, but uh, it's, it's been, it's been super fun. I'm ready for the next stage of alpha or beta and then we'll probably jump into it give it some more chance and uh i'm excited to see where it goes awesome uh so we're actually going to split this vote into two votes because there's too many awesome skins so the first vote is going to be uh with uh auto kitties as well as f1 (laughs) and uh, let's see which one wins here so i can move on to uh the next uh, include the next page of the fireman and uh sam's panda (laughs) super cool but yeah, um, I think, uh, Meister, uh, what do you look at when you kind of create your own full skins? Um, what 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 is your creative process in skin creations? Uh, typically, it's it's either a silly idea we came up in chat one night, or it's something that we were talking about in the Discord. And uh, nine times out of ten, um, it's my skins are dedicated to community members. Like my first war beast, uh, my heart goes to, um, two of my adopted, adopted internet kiddos, beastly and sorry. And, you know, beastly's the pink Fox Sorry's the white Fox. And I kind of intertwined them and it attacks with rainbows because they're both my pride babies. And, um, a lot of times my skins will have that sentimental issue or that sentimental value and uh, the Sunflower Army kind of took off. That was a joke. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, it kind of, there's sunflowers everywhere now. So it's kind of everywhere. Um, gosh, the artillery one is for the military community members and my family. Um, it's, I mean, I don't, it, it's, it's what means, what, hmm, what means something to me. Kind of. I know there's a lot of streamers that go extremely niche or they follow a movie or they're following memes, but my skins, I I typically make them something that means something and something that's a value so we can move it forward. My mom hugs 
is such an amazing oh, the epic that. mom hug skin is like yes. one of my favorite epic skins out there that that is that's that is definitely a labor a labor of love skin um me being totally cute hugging my little heart but if you mess with my kiddos and that's my kiddos or that's my internet kiddos or even my community i will go mom mode on you and you will be scared of me on the battlefield <laughs> Right. I love that one. That one's so perfect. That one turned out so good. CTV knocked that out of the park. Yeah, and I love that there's sunflower skins and your collaboration yes. with Arrow Garfield. Those are amazing. Oh, man, yes. The Garfield collab is incredible. I'm so thankful that he jumped on board for that one. And that idea was all him. I I was absolutely in shock when he was like, hey, how about we do it this way? Cute little Garfield loving up to a sunflower. And then it rips the sunflower up and it uses it as a weapon. And I was like, that's really wow and then i thought about it and i was like you know what that's a great idea and then he came to me later and he was like hey how about i do one for revenge and then you can use the cat and i was like that sounds amazing and it's been so much fun so i i adore garfield for that he he went above and beyond on that idea amazing yeah and uh so we're just gonna know ashley's uh and uh nakachu's uh uh craw machine uh is yeah. gonna move on to the finalists um for uh the top skin of the week i'm gonna see add in uh the firefighter and yeah. uh, uh sam's panda <laughs> yes i love and, the sunflower and a zero zero one and a zero zero one cat <laughs> zero zero one yes 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 i forgot that the evil kitty, although it's probably not evil, but man, yeah. it's it's eyes just, yeah, makes it, it gives out that air of evil. Totally. I love your sun, sunflowers and your, you got plants now, sunflower everywhere in your room and I backdrop. I do. It is just taken over. I, oh my gosh, my community has embraced the sunflower um there's more there is more coming you there's more there's more sunflower skins coming it's hilarious that it's taken over it started as a joke to my raid leader in world of warcraft and now it's everywhere it's everywhere (laughs) i love it i love it you even got a little um squish pillow plushie sunflower i I do it's up on the shelf i don't want to go grab it right now because my chair is in the way but yes i've got a big old giant we had it it was my stream mascot and uh, back when i played spooky games i would have it in my lap and anytime i got super scared i would just pick it up and hide my face behind it and uh, i ended up making a really cute tiktok over it and it's just it's kind of like i said it's taken off sunflowers has been so huge i now have sunflower pj pants Oh my God, that's amazing. I just, that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I, I took a picture of them yesterday. I had an amazing community member pick them up off throne. I put them on as a joke. It was not a joke. So now yeah. I own them and they're super cute. Awesome. You got to get a, a sunflower uh, PJ skin of some sort one day. <laughs> I, you know, oh my gosh, yes. Don't don't say that to my community. They're in here. They're going to, they're, they'll riot for that. <laughs> it's amazing. So we're going to just keep voting for the top skin of the week on the uh, May 12th. And uh, we've got a lot of great contenders. Um, please here, make a vote. I think it's a, uh, we're tied right now. Make sure everyone try to cast oh a vote. These are all, you guys get your votes up there. Yeah, these are all beautiful skins. And uh, we just got to okay. make sure we all vote. Somebody's got to break that tie, you guys. It's a hard, hard week. It really is. Oh, man. There you go. Oh, here we go. Ashley's going to first place, and then the catcher's second leading. And uh, the bullet is coming to a close. (gasps) Ashley, congrats. (laughs) Amazing. Totally, yeah. She's yeah. one of my first people that have actually bought, supported me and bought my flag and head skins. And oh! Yeah, it's amazing. A- Ashley's amazing. Ashley has been like my fairy godmother of stream readers. She has t- taught me so much and has just loved on me so hard. She's incredible. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I'm going to run a quick 
giveaway for <clears throat> this faux skin by Ashley Slick, the cute kitty. Um, what was the name of the kitty again? Uh, it's Luke. Luke. Right, Ashley? Luke. It's the Lukey. But she, she may call it something else. Yeah, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that as a keyword. So depending what that... Luke, awesome, you're right. Okay, I'm going to use a keyword. I'm going to start this thing right now and get a giveaway going. Keyword for giveaway is Luke. So type in the keyword Luke. You want to get a chance to win uh, Ashley Acidic's uh, full skin. And this is also a top skin of the week. So uh, we got running up as Nakachu. And... Um, Gotta take a look at the poll here. Um, we also gotta get, yeah, no, there's too many nice skins this week. It's amazing. It really is, yes. So I'm gonna, cute. Yeah, I'm gonna move on to uh, going back to uh, the recent Friday, the May 19th. Mm -hmm. So look at all these head skins again. And uh, one thing I really caught my eye here in the first row of flags is this one's got some really cool wording here B1. Mm hmm. I think it's like a oh. raid raid call here, which is really cool. But uh, D one's also really cool too. This uh, avocado <laughs> looks so avocado, funny. Avocado, yes. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. So, what are some of the head skins uh, that stand out for you this week? Oh man, shiny Eevees like that dog. The dog is just all over and is super cute. You cannot deny that that's a shiny EV skin. The little purple dragon at the bottom, Shadow Drake, is super Ooh, cute. I love it. Um, Stormy's turned out so great. Awkward Monsters monsters up there. Like, you can look at Awkward Monsters and know that's the Awkward Monster monster. Um, yeah. And then, of course, there's Mr. That's the good, clean gaming again with the cute little scuba. And they've been rocking it. That's like three head skins last week and another set of head skins this week. Amazing. And then there's a brand new flag from Ashley Acidic. I'm not biased, y'all, but there's mm. another one up there. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love this skin release. It's got a lot of, this week's got a lot of head skins and it's got mm -hmm. a lot of variations. And I just love how, uh, I, I think Nums is like a Monkey King thing. And I always have, uh, I always love Monkey Kings. And it's mm -hmm. fitting a Monkey King in the Pixel like this is pretty hard. Uh, mm -hmm. He's even got this, this bro. Bowcaster builds thing is really interesting. It's got like a Rudy Daw type thing and like a yeah. little hood here, and uh, butterfly garden gaming that the little uh, effects on the head headband. Oh yeah, so cute. It's awesome. <laughs> Great. So I'm gonna run the giveaway in about uh, ten seconds. So make sure you guys type in the keyword Luke, and then as we gonna move on to the full page. The continuation of the remainder of the head skin. So Lady Liana. Sir Tux is so funny. This cheese is awesome. This flying cheese thing. Flying room <laughs> yes. cheese head skin. I, I love the um, effects here. Like it's awesome. And mm -hmm. then this uh really kind of like kind of spooky with the head, but also like smiling. Uh Das on Kyo head skin. I love the color yes. of the eyes here. Awesome. So May 19, full skins. Woo. Look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I uh just really first, wow. before we split the page, Angel <laughs> just I'm not sure like her Angel intentions. Owns this. <laughs> yeah. I, I just I, I kinda laughed uh when I saw it because I was like the, the she made a mistake. Why is it the same skin, but uh all di like same skin on the same different units, but it's actually if you look really carefully. Uh, the horns of these unicorns are, are different. different. Yep. And uh, they are mm -hmm. different units, and also when they attack, they uh, emit different uh, uh, kind of like effect, different colors. That's crazy. I I love that. I mean, it's subtle, but you look at it and like it just captures you. Like why? And then you you just start picking out those little details, and you're like, ah, oh, I get it. I get it. Totally. I I love it. Uh, and uh, this is just a really awesome week as well. Uh, I can't wait to go in and start talking about each one. So I'm going to go split the page again in half. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll start with the uh, um, A to F. So Death Angel D. Wow. Look at those. Yeah. Even just like looking at those three together. Wow. This is so much details. 
And oh the- my gosh. Yes. It is. It is incredible. And you can, I just, oh, the amount of detail in all of them, but when you look at them separately, they are three incredibly neat, but at the same time, they are on brand for Death Angel. Like, you know that's a Death Angel skin from the detail behind it, but each one has its own personality. Like, it's very branded, but still unique. It's incredible. Totally. I really liked the um, uh, glowing effect in, like, mm-hmm. A1 and uh, C1, but A1 is just super cool. It kind of rotates. There is radiance towards energy, and even B1, it's got an extra little skull here that's holding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super awesome. And this, the uh, helmet on C1 is just incredible. Look at there's mm-hmm. like a glowing flame and eyes at the back. I love it. The fire. Yeah. Like you've got frost in the first one, you've got kind of a, a dark magic in the second one, and you've got fire in the third one. It's incredible. Yeah, I love it. And then uh, we also got uh, Angel's unicorn. So mm-hmm. uh, it's super cool. I really like how she decided to put all. Uh, uh, Unicorns and like and the different effects is a really smart idea. I haven't seen a captain done it, and it's, it's creative. It's it's incredible because now you you know who it's going to be when you see those those unicorns galloping across the field, and it kind of makes a cohesive kind of a cohesive unit. And you know you see a lot of people doing skinathons or during big events where hey give me a field of this unit or give do this like for mother's day my community got together and started putting sunflowers all over my battlefield for sun for mother's day uh angel can just pretty much have a field of nothing but uniform unicorns and it's super cute yeah totally uh and um i just like it's as we i can't wait to see on pvp because it's going to make it so hard to know what unit it is so. exactly the confusion <laughs> yeah yes uh, next, we have uh, the next row, uh, Sinister Plans. This is a really cute mage here. I love the effects on the hat there, like a little feather sticking out, and it just hands together. This is a really cute. Is it Carmen San Diego? Ooh. Yeah, it could be. I'm getting Carmen San Diego vibes from this chat. You're going to have to let us know. But man, I'm, I'm getting where in the world is Carmen San Diego vibes? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe it's just a, a generic lady in red. But man, yeah, it's, it's giving man. those vibes. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I love the details of this. The hair. It's amazing. Next, we have uh, B2. Uh, oh, my God. This marshmallow. Oh is it, It's a marshmallow, right? Yeah, it's a marshmallow <laughs> carrying a match. It's crazy. Yeah, it's hilarious. And I just love uh, the marshmallows even got like gloves on um, and just <laughs> just dancing around, getting ready to light itself and like, get burnt, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's on its way to go find some chocolate and a graham cracker, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does a really cute skin. It's got really cute pixel eyes, and the blush mm-hmm. is great. Next, the blush. This is probably uh, one of Sam's birds eating popcorn. Yes. Oh, I, lo- I love Sam's little birds. They're so cute. Yeah, and I love the effects, too. Like, it just, like, you can see the back uh, beak mm-hmm. kind of opening up, putting those popcorn uh, one by one. In, uh, yeah. Aww. Cool. Uh, next, we have Yay Cats. Oh my god, this is yes. a really cute uh, skin, and it's got a really nice pixel blanking, and also this uh, secondary uh, pop up uh, here is just so cool. It is adorable. Yay Cat skins are adorable. All of them are so well themed. You look at them, you know it's Yay Cats. It's so cute. Yeah, it's a, they did a really great job, and it's it looks really. It's got the basic like it's a really basic uh, silhouette, uh, but then there's like. They're just so cute and so adorable. I love it. Mm-hmm. What is a uh, Yi Two? Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm not sure. I feel like either a squirrel. I'm. I'm not certain. Yeah. Does anybody in chat know? I feel like it could possibly be a squirrel with the tail, but the ears are throwing me off and the face but i mean creative liberties yo it could be a fantasy creature <laughs> yeah yeah it's 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 just the the shape is a bit odd but it's like it really stands out makes you wonder what it is yeah it like it really makes you want to go see the captain and you know kind of see what the story is behind this and hey how did you 
It looks like, a, oh my gosh, it, says, it looks like a weenie fox. You're right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was amazing. Well, I can't see any, I can't unsee it now. Hot dogs grow. Heck, it looks like an EV2 <laughs> in the back. Oh man. Oh my god. So, yeah, I think that's a, it's, I'm going to go ask the captain probably after this stream. Congrats, Nikki. Nikki, congrats. Uh, I'll be gifting you uh, Ashley's uh, top skin of the week for May 12th. Uh, and F2. Wow. That is incredible. Oh, my goodness. More of Bronco Mama's sea life. So cute. We had the crab in the last one with that with the hearts, and then we had the other crustacean with the gun. And now it looks like a... Is this a spellcaster? Is this a flag bird with a flag on the back? Yeah, I'm going to actually get it. Quickly take a look because uh, I want to. I feel like it's black bear, but I just want to confirm it. I'm looking at my. Yeah, it looks like Ooh, a flag bear, but it's it, super cute. I love the crustacean sea life theme. It's so amazing. It is a flag bear, and I think. It's, nice. Perfect. Yeah, that's amazing. The fact that they were yeah. able to kind of put it at the back of the center just makes it so mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. It's very unique. But I mean, again, it's very Bronco Mama. They are in on theme with the sea life. Like, the coloring is so good. The flag is incredible. You know, you know it's a little sea snail. He's got his little legs tucked in. I'd love to see it walk across the battlefield. That would be amazing. I hope I hope the little claws at the front, I hope that clicks and goes open. But it's incredible, the detail. Yep, there it is. I see it. It's, wow, look at it. Yeah, look at the back. That is so incredible. Yeah, this is a really stands out. I love it. Wow. The art team killed it. Yes, absolutely. Next, another Ashley skin right there with the. Yes. So I know Ashley's in chat. Want to tell us a bit about this one? <laughs> so oh, it's is it is it is it Luke? Is it gonna is it like the same kitty? I wonder. But I love the rainbow uh, costume. Okay. It's rare. I'll let Ashley talk about this one. I'm super excited. And it's actually your archer too. I'm gonna just bring up the game uh, as well to see uh, the Muffin the Man Bubba. Yes, but with a pride update. I love it so much. Ooh, awesome! Yep, the pride representation there is so cute, and uh, it's holding a little weapon too, right? Is it a weapon that's holding the the rainbow? Oh, it's a rainbow gun! Oh my god! <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. It's uh, super cute, and these the. I love it. The uh, the costume is just like it's pouncing the plank. It's a uh, really cute, amazing. Yes. So many. They did so good. Like the so many good skins again on this page already. Deaf Angel collection. We got Yay Cats, Sam's uh, cute uh, bird and marshmallow and Ashy's cat and Bronco what? Mama's flag. Oh my god. Yeah, the flag. That is that is incredible. I cannot. I just the crustaceans, the sea life. It's incredible. Yeah. Uh, so I'll chat. I'll let you kind of uh, type in your favorite uh, skin out of this half page here of the Mate Nineteen release, and then I'll move on to the next page. So we got more angel unicorns right at the back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Continuation of the uh, unicorn invasion. The theme. Yeah. And uh, we also have uh, I-1. Wow. Oh, man. On a tractor. Super cute. Yeah. I'm, I'm not <laughs> sure about the character, but I definitely see the tractor. It's a cute little pink tractor. It's got, it's got purple wheel rims. It's super cute. I don't see a super amount of detail in the character, but I think they wanted to put the detail in the tractor. I like the movement. I like the tires. You see the shadow moving, it's adjusting. It's super cute. I'm hoping they play cozy farm games. Yeah. It's it's really adorable. I love it. I just love mm -hmm. the uh it's also got it's this 3D effect of the tractor. There's so much detail on this. Yes. J1. You got uh Cycalia with uh do you know what it is? I, I don't, but I'm hoping, like I said, they've, they've got the eye as well. And I'm hoping maybe it's uh it's like a farmer. I'm, I'm not sure. I feel like there's a theme here. I don't know the streamer well enough. And it kind of really makes me want to go check them out. 
and see what kind of games they're into. But it could be a farmer. Maybe they're holding a piece of fruit. Maybe they're tending to an orchard or something. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's super cute. Yeah, I like the color of the eyes too. Really stands out. Mm-hmm. Uh, the hair movements. Yeah. Yeah, it's really adorable. Yeah. I got another Nekachu, uh Yes. Purple bear fairy. So we have moved from the claw machine to now the bear has escaped the claw machine and we are now alive. It's great. Awesome. I yeah. like the little detail, the star on the little wand, the wings are moving, its little legs are moving around, it's blinking. Oh my gosh. So it's cute. perfect. Yeah. And it's almost like uh, this skin could look so cool in different colors and variants. And, mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, variants would be so cute. A diamond variant of this, ooh. impeccable. Yeah, totally. Uh, next, we got Sinister's plans on a really cool. Um, it's like the the vehicle that this unit's on is super detailed. Yeah, it looks like it's sitting on something like a moth or a butterfly. It's definitely flying. Um, I'm assuming this is probably a flying rogue. Um, I mean, the detail in the hat. I would assume that's a hat or eyebrows. Um, the arms are moving. The wings of the creature are moving. It's so adorable. Um, and it, it's very detailed for what looks to be like a simple unit. But there's so much moving pieces to it. The hands, the wings, the little hat detail. It's it's really unique. So. Yeah. And I think it's probably inspired by a superhero of some sort. But I'm not yeah. too sure. Yeah. Very. Oh, thank you, Duop. Yeah. But it's really cool. It's got a... It, when it moves, I'm going to show the animations quickly. But while it moves, it actually um, hold on to the uh, years of this. Uh, oh, oh, bless. <laughs> yeah, this dragon looking thing or, or whatever oh, it is. Oh, my goodness. And it shoots like a type of fire effect. Oh, look at that. And it's got little zoomies. Yeah. I love that so much. It is a fairy. That's incredible. Yeah. It's very, very <laughs> detailed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to take a look here and then go back to, uh, oh my God, Madam J's has a really cool skin on uh, G2. Mm-hmm. Let me take a look at what skin it is. It's a tank. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. The pink hair, the the shield, the movement on the hammer. It looks, so, I guess that's a hammer. Yeah, yeah, and, and you, actually, it looks so good. the hammer when you kind of see it, the effects is so cool too because it's got a huge like uh, effect on the ground. Like it just kind of renaissance this uh, power of the hammer when it nice. smashes an enemy. Yeah, I love it. Oh yeah, that looks so incredible! Wow, amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we got Immer Bach. Mm-hmm. With a, I believe it's a shinobi. Oh man, that's so cool. Uh, and it's just blank. And the the length of this uh, blade, the uh, a katana, is just super cool. Yeah. Again, it's another simple skin, but it's really brought to life with the details of the blink and the hair movement. I'm excited to see its attack animation. Like it's it's very simplistic, but it's also very detailed, and I love it. It's really good. Yeah. It's actually a warrior, by the way. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Oh, my God. Wait, Captain TV's got a skin out. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, my God. Yes, they do. And t- are they holding cats? Please tell me they don't throw the cats. Yeah. Don't throw the cats. It's three different cats. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, uh, I-, I wonder if it's like if it's Brad or someone else with this like vampire <laughs> uh, Viking looking helmet. Mm-hmm. Oh man! I'm gonna look it's at that effects. Super cute. Yeah. Gosh, this is a. I can't find the skin. Really? I'm trying to find Interesting. it. Interesting. I'm trying to. They're not gonna let us buy it. Oh, sorry. Is it like a secret, like is Easter it, yeah, egg is thing? It, are we secret? Hang on. I searched. Uh, wow! TV, you yeah. can't find it. What? Yeah, Look can. at that. Interesting, Stream Raiders. Captain TV, tell us. We got to report What's this bug. What's the secret here? <laughs> they don't want us to get our hands on it. Yeah. I wanted to see the animation. I'm going to try to. I think I might know. 
Yeah, they're fine. Oh, well. It could be a CTV um, staff skin. Like a giveaway skin. exclusive or something, maybe. Oh, a staff skin. Oh, yeah. that would be so cute. Yeah, super cute. Um, but I got to find out how... Yeah, I, I just don't see where we can see the animations. Mm. Yeah. So, I guess it's going to be a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> Next one is uh, CBC Guan's yeah. um, skin. And this is really cool. It's like a puppet... Uh, mastered uh, Funko Pop looking character. Hmm. It is Justin Timberlake. It's going to be May. I was incredibly honored for CBC to send me the concepts to these and get my ideas on them. Uh, CBC is a huge sweetheart. I love, I love CBC. Um, this skin is incredible. And I like, they got the ramen hair down for Justin. They've got the, the whole, you know, it's going to be May kind of <laughs> vibe going on. You, you look at it and you're like, oh yeah, I know this song. And it's going to be stuck in your head for the next two hours. I'm sorry, guys. But it's super cute. CBC did an amazing job. I, I love it. I love it so much. You can see the dancing. Yeah. You can see the little, the mari mar marionette strings. It's so amazing. The concept was incredible. CBC has these amazing, like, pop culture, music-based skins, and it's amazing. Yeah. We're going to make him sing on TwitchCon. Yes. Good. Somebody better record that. Yeah. We, uh, it was, uh, he, he went to the CTV party last year at the karaoke show, and uh, a few captains did an awesome song, and, uh, yeah, they were, uh, CBC did a <laughs> Backstreet Boys. Nice. So he, this year he needs to sing a just one of these uh uh this their new song. Represent the skin, yes, yeah. Represent yes. the skin. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So we got Bruise 420 with a oh my super cool skin. I am so excited for Bruise's Archer. The Ursula is so, so good. They blew that right out of the park. The animation details are incredible. You look at the tentacles, the tentacles move when it attacks, that I mean bruised bruised this is so good like we know what the inspiration was but man look at it move yeah like oh my gosh the bubbles the hair movement it's so good i'm in love with this skin so much details and even the uh trident spins while yeah. it's looking at it like this they did a really great job with the skin okay. i'm so proud of you bruised yes yeah that's so cool is this one of bruised first skin yeah i believe so yes oh my first, god it's your, it's your first right yeah it's bruce first first uh full skin i believe so yeah amazing it's so good and if you're already putting out skins like that as your first oh baby it's only going up from here i'm so excited totally you know i'm super happy and proud of your first skin release amazing yes. uh, i'm gonna move on back to the page wow so chat let us know what you like on this this page and uh we're gonna go back out and look at king jerry's epic skin while well, you guys let us know what you want to vote for but uh wow look at king jerry's epic skin god <laughs> do you know the story behind this skin i oh gosh i was i was given the concept i was given the concept of it jerry is so sweet to have shared the concept with me but i do not uh i don't know the concept I just love how it's like a normal guy chilling at A4 uh, with like normal eyes, normal hair. And then mm -hmm. this epic version is just this bold guy with, it looks like yeah. got a huge fight. The teeth's got distorted, but yeah. the sword, it seems like they've gone through training or some uh, evolution and got a gold sword now. <laughs> oh man, all sorts. Bronze yeah. to gold. Yeah. Amazing. This is definitely a transforming skin. Like it, it is so different from its first. Yeah. It almost confuses you if you see them separate. Totally. It's got the muscles and everything. It's almost like a different, different guy that went through a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. That's a lot of growing pains. Yeah. So we got a lot of uh, entries right now. Um, we got uh, people mentioned all the angel ones, the unicorns. Uh, we got uh, a one B four. Wow, there's just so many good skins. L2 is getting so much love. That bruised, that bruised yeah. Ursula skin. Oh my god. He's getting some love. Yeah. We got too many awesome skins to vote yes. for. So 
um, L2s I think are going to be being voted for. Um, I'm going to put K2 here as well on this mm -hmm. page. Yes. Um, I'm going to put Yay Cats in. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Put Zams B2. <laughs> yeah. One more chat. Like, whatever. There's too many nice skins again. It's so hard to uh, really vote when there's so many awesome skins. Yeah, out two's already going to be in it. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to just get the vote on and let you guys decide. Sweet. Amazing. Amazing skins. Yes. They turned out so good. Yeah, oh, we got, everybody. Has we, so we can't. Good. We can't forget F two, the Bronco Mama no, one. No, of course not. Yes, that, that flag. That flag is so unique. Yeah, like the whole line of Bronco Mom skins are just in incredible. But man, oh man. You know, totally. It's just super, super awesome. Okay, let's get the vote up. But um, so Meister, what uh, you've been playing uh, um, uh, Nitro Stream Racing for some time. Yeah. Uh, what are your uh, uh, thoughts about uh, the whole game? I I love Nitro. Nitro has my heart. Stream Runners has my heart. I Nitro is so good because it gives me the element of kind of a just chatting stream yeah. where it doesn't have to be my face on the screen. I can just be in a corner. We can talk about racing or we can just let the race run and we can talk about affirmation cards or about our days or whatever. And it gives me that community that ability to engage with the community and it's not a game that I'm staring off on my second monitor with absolute RBF face, completely ignoring chat. It allows me to still have a game going and engage with my chat. And I really, I love it for that. I'm so excited to see how far it's going to go. It's gone so great so far. It's been so much fun for my community and I, um, I just, we got invited to the tournament. We were in season, we were in the Alpha 100. Like, it is, leaps and bounds has been so good. I love it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, super cool to play that tournament. It was really hyped. I yes. love the energy of meeting other racers and communities. Yeah. And uh, like the, your car wrap's been turning out amazing. I just saw your, your new car you. wrap and I just love the, the gradient and just the effect on it. It's so cool. Thank you. My amazing artist, she's actually currently here in chat. Her name is Shatharis. She is the one who did my disco ball wrap for me. And uh, we've got another rainbow one in the works as soon as we get that one unlocked. Ooh. I'm super excited. The first one's the synth wave because, you know, we play synth wave music and I love it. You got to cruise. You got to cruise when it comes to that synth wave. So um, I really, I love the concept of the wraps. I love the concept of the driver skins being able to change. I know creating the 3D drivers is going to be very difficult, but I'm excited for that to be kind of an elite option someday. Yeah. But man, oh man, the cars, the car wraps, the honks. Honks are so good. Yeah, it's really cool that they are not, they're looking at different angles on how you can support streamers <laughs> and different cosmetic within the game. Yes. So we got both wraps, uh, well, honk packs, uh, flags, and then eventually we're going to see some uh, helmet and 3D racers. Yes, that's going to be so good. It's going to be great for the community, and hopefully it goes and it benefits CTV, and we can keep getting amazing improvements to games like this, and stream raiders can continue and Nitro can continue because they're just great games. They just need the community behind them. And they need positive community behind them. And that's going to be the biggest thing is everybody to kind of move forward and be positive and to have fun with it and understand that these games are in alpha slash beta slash whatever. And, you know, get the love on them, you know, support your streamer, support, uh, support the community surrounding these streamers, because, you know, that's the only way these games are going to get good and better. Totally. Yeah, it's been uh, uh, I think they put in a lot of uh, heart and effort into making these yeah. games fun. For everyone mm -hmm. and uh i think we got great communities and part of the captain tv team mm -hmm. and uh i just uh love seeing new streamers every day playing their games and uh yeah. if you see a new uh content creator pick out one of the games feel free to always support them hang out with them and uh show them uh some of the tips and tricks uh of how to run these games because uh uh these are heavily streamer led games and it's uh not too it's not easy sometimes to run these games but oh, yeah it is not so and, and thankfully these are very community-based games so it's kind of easy to get the 
to get your foot in the door and get your community growing. But Twitch is all about discoverability and to have something like CTV games to help you with discoverability. It's, it's more than just a game. It helps build your community. And that's, that's the incredible part about it. So totally. So Bruce L2, congrats on winning your top skin of the week for your first ever full skin. Congratulations, Bruce. So, so well-deserved. Beautiful. Amazing. So, uh, Bruce, I'll let you uh, also choose a keyword. I know you're here. Uh, what do you name your, your skin? 69%. <laughs> 69% win. That's awesome. Yeah. And Cats won second place. Awesome. I love it. And uh, shout out to Sam and Bronco Mamas uh, and CBC mm-hmm. as well. They uh, made amazing skins this week. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So cute. This our skins are so cute on the battlefield. I. Uh, yes. Well, I really hope uh, they're gonna also evolve the game and uh, allow us to kind of display our skins somewhere else outside of the the battle mode or campaign or PvP. It'd be so cool if they were. Um, Gonna put it in like a, a idle mode where you can just when streamers are offline they could put some skin somewhere and just display those units. That'd be so cool. Nice, yes. Yeah. They talked about something about called castles before where mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, each captain would have a castle and then allow people to drop units while they're offline. Oh, that would be so much fun. Yeah. That'd be people really put fun. so much work into their skin. So that would be awesome to be able to showcase and do stuff like that. I would love that. Yeah, me too. So I'm going to put in the the vote now for uh, the keyword. So the keyword is bruised for the giveaway for um, bruises full skin. So keyword is bruised and uh, it is now live. Awesome. So Meister, what uh, what do you plan for your next stream? And uh, I know the bonus stream is not uh, happening today, but uh, what, what do you have planned for your next stream? Well, I have I've decided to take the night off on the on the uh, b- uh, bonus stream tonight. My kids actually, it's their last week of school this week, so I'm gonna take it easy and I'm gonna sit in my chair and I'm gonna play Minecraft. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to really play Minecraft, and I have a public server with my friends, and I'm gonna be lazy. But the next stream is gonna be Nitro. We're gonna get back into it. We've got drops. It's gonna be fun. It's a great way to start the week, kind of get the hype going get things going and have everybody have a chance to kind of hang out, chill out, get some drops, get your quest done, 250th place, yeah. do some more chat versus bots cuz we've got to we've got to get through that. And uh yeah, I love I love the new changes to Nitro so we can progress through the maps and that's that's kind of an exciting thing. So yeah, it's Amazing. nice. I can't wait for the next season or next release of uh yes. any cups and races. Uh, I just get so excited every time when there's new tracks because yes those tracks are actually if you look at details they're incredible there's they like are. easter eggs like anything from even the the, the vegas inspired uh, casino map yes. uh and even the newer ones are they put in a lot of work in those maps they really do and the detail comes across like the little cactuses laying in the cabanas or the little cactuses crawling across the road in the cities like the details are amazing if you pay attention to the cars on the street you've got some aliens you've got some trucks pulling boats and there's just there's just so much going on there and you guys just open your eyes and pay attention to the details because this is what the ctv team is doing and they put a lot of love in their games and we got to give the love into it as well totally yeah hopefully we can uh, play a game with trinity penguin and all the friends here with a season two tournament yes absolutely yeah that's uh really cool and i just love how uh the biggest thing about being a Captain TV uh, uh, partner as well as a, a member of the community is that we always are so loving and supportive to each other. And I found this is uh, one thing uh, I think throughout Twitch, we probably have one of the most powerful uh, communities in terms of the support we have for one another. Uh, yes. Everyone uh, knows each other. Everyone uh, helps start it out. And I think um, uh, whether it's people going for the goals uh people getting their recent partnership like garfield it's really awesome to see it is incredible the community is the best part of it hands down games are great i love the games but the community the community is literally what makes the games so yeah 
I uh, can't wait for the future. I know there's other games in the works, other awesome yeah. projects and collaborations that they have mm-hmm. with other studios. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So last chance to enter for your bruised faux skin. And uh, I'm actually going to show again the animation of this because I really like it. It's just a 10 out of 10 skin. And uh, so uh, good. Yeah, it's super cool to see it in action, the archer. Um, and it's a really great job for choosing Archer too. I think mm-hmm. when you choose a common unit for your first skin, it allows people to uh, support you and buy a skin and uh, put it put spam on the battlefield, right? <laughs> exactly. Can you imagine having a whole bunch of those beautiful Ursulas? Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, this would look so like an awesome diamond skin one day. So start playing yes. your skinathon, bruised. Yes. Let us know. Oh man. Oh, my star, by the way, you had an yeah. amazing first skinathon, and oh my god, you crushed yeah, it. Uh, so, for those that are thinking of doing skinathons or about to do a skinathon, what tips do you have for any streamer out there that want to plan a skinathon? Don't overthink it, um, just kind of let your community lead the charge on it. I was incredibly nervous, I, I, anxious, nervous. Um, once we got into it, we had a lot of fun. The community support really rallied. Um, we unlocked a boosted for my very first skinathon. I am still in absolute shock. But, uh, I mean, just kind of relax, have fun, let your community lead the charge on it. Because initially, a skinathon is for your community. It's a big old party for your community. And it is... Oh, it can be very overwhelming, but take it step by step and let your community lead and you'll see it's going to work out amazingly. So, yeah. 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 Don't, uh, I overstress mine a lot too for the first one. Yes. And, uh, yes. but once you get the hit the start stream button, uh, get some incentives in the, in the screen and chat and allow people to just have fun. The biggest thing is yes. if you're having fun, your community is going to have a fun and newcomers or new uh, people coming into your skinathon is going to, also have fun and uh, enjoy their stay. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Amazing. So I'm going to draw this uh, faux skin getaway for uh, Bruce first Archer faux skin. And mm-hmm. um, uh, I'll be gifting it to you for this week's May 19th faux skin of the week. Awesome. Rasta, congrats. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Amazing. So uh, this has been an awesome double episode, my star. Uh, I would like to thank you for all your time and uh, all the feedback you have on these skins. Hang out with me. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, it's an uh, honor to have you in part of the, the show. And uh, I think this show is definitely picking up. I, I really love how the community is coming together. Look at all the skins I released throughout the, the week. And we're going to keep this going uh, every Sunday. Sounds good. Thank you so much for having me, Proto League. I appreciate it. I'm so thankful for the community that you have and sharing it with me. And then to be a part of this, it's really cool to showcase the different skins, the different community members in C2B. Totally. Yeah. Thank you for your time again, MyStar. And uh, for those that don't know, make sure you guys do a follow through MyStar and uh, hang out on her awesome streams. And you would definitely catch a lot of sunflower love there. Awesome. All right. Have a great day, my sir. You too. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Bye.